I'm for I'm Houston Hottie herself. Make the stallion talk to me. Oh, I was in them buttermilk biscuits. Cam's built like yes, Jules. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Our carpet stinks. Oh god, and then there's voice. hair right here, but there's no hair like right here. Put your legs down. We're back from New York City. We're back in Dallas. We're back for the people. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the You Should Know Podcast, episode 85. Round of applause, please. Wow, that sounded like war hey everybody welcome back to the you should know podcast episode 85 oh, it feels so good to be back it feels like we are home guys if you're new here if you haven't already go below you see subscribe it is a pressed you're wrong if you look even more below that you see that comment section is fulfilled with your name guess what even more wrong go ahead and fill that out get your good karma let's just let's just say something real quick we need a great, great, great round of applause for the crowd in New York City. One time for New York City crowd. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. New York City. Let me say something to your, to, your, to your face right now. Thank you so much to everybody that came October 28th to the Gramercy Theater sold out show in New York. And that crowd was literally insane. We will talk about it more, but we just want to say thank you. That was one of the best nights of our lives. Thank you so much for making it so damn special. Everybody we met was so cool, so nice. Everybody that came and, and wore merch. Everybody came to the meet and greet. Everybody was just in the crowd making noise. Everybody that gave us gifts. I'm rocking my tail as you can see I was gifted a tail in the middle of the show I got all these bracelets on from the meet and greet thank you guys so much we I cannot wait to break this down a little more we're going to talk about it briefly on the podcast where we have a full full breakdown of all the intricate stories and there will be a vlog on the patreon coming soon guys Thank you so much. It feels so good to be back. We have a few more tickets left for December 7th at the Regent Theater in LA. So I'm telling you guys, in the next couple of weeks, it will be sold out. We have a lot of surprises for that LA show because it is LA. We have a lot of friends there, a lot of cool guests that will be there. We can't say too much, but I'm telling you, you're not just getting the You Should Know podcast in LA. So guys, get the tickets. It's the first link in the description, December 7th at the Regent Theater. Now, oh! to the rest of the episode. The you Should Know Podcast. Oh, coming in. Oh, no. Oh, no. New York done took a lot of... Oh, no. Oh, no. We got co-host Cam back in the studio. Happy, happy. Hippie, hippie, hippie. Oh, we got a hippie fan in the in the building. Hey there, little We lady. got co-host Cam with a cane that fixing that hip back in the studio. How you feeling, Bubba? I feel good, Squire. Good to I feel real good, sir. You added a Q. Squire. Yeah. I don't know if I like it. Because I'm above you now in this. When I have this cane, I work for no one. I'm not going to lie. That's a sturdy ass no, cane. Very solid cane. It's like, it's like a lion's head on it, too. Oh. Oh my god, the whole time I thought it was a falcon. Oh, I thought it was an eagle at first impression. It's a lion. So it's like a tadpole lion. It's like a lion with like a with like locks. With like a, like Be careful. <sighs> Come on now. It's like it's like lions after a good like a good lock sesh. Like they use the gel and lock sesh. Describe how a lock sesh goes. Uh you sit down, your hair's out, pick it out, and then they go through Be careful. <laughs> they divide it, section it. Depends on what kind Who's of locks they? you want. Whoever the hairdresser is. But who would it normally be? <laughs> you're you're fishing for cancelable content, and you need huh? to stop. Whoever the the hairdresser sits down, divides it typically into four regions, and then depending on what kind you want. I have friends. <laughs> I have brothers. Uh, not that type of brother. Literal. <laughs> my brothers. <laughs> Damn it. Be Literal. Careful. Olivia has a brother that has had some. Gabe has never had Deshaun. locks. Deshaun. Oh yeah. Deshaun. Thank you. Yeah, both the uncles too. Shout She's out Uncle Jerry, Uncle Jonah, Day Day, everybody. That's a good people, man. Uh, no, this cane is badass. It was given to me at the meet and greet. No, it wasn't. 
No, it simply wasn't. It was given to us on stage. That's 100 percent true. <laughs> at the end of the it show, was they not came at the from the top balcony. It was, yeah, it was someone's script. Was it the aggressive screamer? No, no, that guy Somebody was a said, legend. Hey, you are my I was like, oh my god, it scared the shit out yeah, of us. Yeah, I was like, that is a very uh, aggressive <laughs> yell, Mister. But I pet, think, yeah, no, pet, that's sick. Pet work. me. They get, I'm not petting your tail. Grab my tail. I'm not grabbing. Stroke my tail. That's a raccoon tail. No. Skunk. What does that? Skunk smells like one. Sk it smells like a skunk. No, that's I do. you. Yeah, that's you. That smells like pet skunk. That's a raccoon. Just do tail. it for the people, please. Give it a good pet, like it was Ruby. Oh, oh, oh no. How much you did, dude. That has some. It feels there's great. A good, there's a good little. It's like there's a tailbone it's in like, there. It's like yeah, it's like a good inside. Like a don't sniff it. What are you doing? Got to sniff your tail. All right, before we get in, good and aware. To the We're conversations. Here. Before we get into the conversations, more than likely a debate. Knowing us and the funnies. New York City. New York City. New York City. No, 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 no. We do not on the right to this song. On me tonight. All right. Your eyes are very dreamy and wet. Think. Whenever I look at your eyes, I think wet. Whenever I think of your belly button, lower back, or behind the knee, I also think wet. Look at my lower back. You shaved it! Yes, sir! He shaved his lower back, babe. There's no more taco taco meat. Taco meat. I do too. You probably on, shave some other things. Oh, welcome. Episode you know 85. why I did? Why? Because I shaved it before we went to New York. Why did you? Because do not do not cane point me. It's because Put my cane in your mouth. So you can say him, but I can't. <laughs> I have to pet your tail and you can moan, but you can't simply gobble on the cane. <laughs> Gobble's a sick word. No, sick adjective. No, it's not an adjective. That's a verb. It's a verb. That's a verb. I was Ooh, good I at English. To, <laughs> Ooh, I was good at English. I got an A plus on all my bullshit essays. Whatever, guy. <laughs> Clap more. <laughs> Dare you? <laughs> Dude, my hips actually hurt. Right That's bad. Um, and, uh, but uh, what oh, was, what I got my wrist candy too. No, Thank shut up. All, what were we talking okay. about? New York City. No, but you said brought something up. Gobble a cane. No, before that. Lower back. You shaved it. Lower, I shaved my lower back because there's parts of the show where my shirt might pop up and I was wearing a skimpy shirt. <laughs> and so I was like, I'll be tanned. And oh, somebody records oh my, my lower oh my back God. meat. Oh my God. I what? have to say something about that. What? I did not realize this until the day of the show. Mama Liv was doing an amazing job being the HBIC. She was steaming our shirts in the green room behind stage, right? Yeah. Your shirt fell. I picked it up. This man is 6'7", the shirt was a medium. You have to, you have to defend yourself right no, now. No, it was not. Oh, no! No, it was not. Oh, no, no, no. It, was it was a large. large. It was a large. large. If you, if that... My jacket was a medium. The fact... That doesn't make sense, but it fit you. Be it so looked like, tailored. What? And even in our photographer, Yo Yomi, Yomi, shout, shout out to Yomi. Yomi. She, she said... She's sick. Oh, I just want to be clear. There are so many friends, family in that green room. Nobody complimented my outfit. Our, the, the person we just met that day. I complimented your outfit literally before you even had it. Make that make sense. You pick up that Thank you, Liv. Jacket. We helped you pick it out. We helped you pick it out. I said that jacket I, on you would look every, unbelievable. Every, you left. You oh oh. You left said store, and three days later, you returned to said store and bought purchase jacket. Complete fabrication and lie. It is well documented uh, because that we talked about when we looked at that. Seats. Listen, dumbass, big head, Bank nasty, bro. You 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 remind me of an elephant's hoof. How you behave? That is rude. So you're calling me dirty and heavy? <laughs> That's an elephant hoof. Dirty and heavy. Dirty heavy. Ah, no, stop my cat. Ah, Use your cane. Um. Oh my legs are sore. We'll get off hey, this. Shrink more because it's <laughs> well, it's cold. <laughs> my God. Hello. Good morning. Top of the morning to you. There you are. <laughs> hey. Oh, I thought you were out of town. All right, go. Well, I landed Sorry. early. <laughs> um, uh, it's documented on the. <laughs> you said. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> it's documented on the podcast. Is whenever I did that, and that was weeks ago. And I got this the jacket literally the day before the plane took off. Is it not the same? No, you said three days later. Okay, I lied about oh, that. Oh, so Cam's a documented liar. And you're not. Oh, what oh, have I ever lied about? Oh, this the dreadlock on this <laughs> line is about to go right in between your eyes. What have I ever lied about? I uh, that's too long of a list. It would mm -hmm. literally be exactly. a, it'd be a three hour episode of just your fabrication. Tell me how that holds up in court. Uh, that, how that holds up in what? No, shut up. Let's talk about shut New up, York. Louis Lit. You want to be Louis Lit? You got the There's same a small part of you that wants. You to be got Lewis the same Lit. grill as Louis Lit. Take out. No, I don't. Oh if anyone's grill, I have the grill of who, probably Jessica. Whoever had the best grill on that show. Dude, Jessica I have was the grill. beautiful. I Jessica was beautiful. Like she's dead. She's a character. Yeah. <laughs> um, 
Anyway, New, New York. York City. Um, I'm gonna start it off by saying, obviously the show is fantastic. We know beautiful that show, amazing show, beautiful show, great scenery. It was an amazing show. Uh, Bro. <laughs> but the crowd was unbelievable. Bro, like it's from the jump. So the more I thought, we had a long plane ride back, and the more I thought about it, I sat there and pondered, and I was like. I don't even know if I want to say this, but they they might have brought more energy than home crowd Dallas show. Yeah, they did. Like it was crazy. They did. The New York show was, uh, it I was so sick. I, I, and you know how I am with every show, even when we record to the live shows. After I'm like, dude, they hated it, or like this sucks, or whatever. And but I knew it was a dude, good show, but I'm always hard on like myself and us. So I'm yeah. Just like uh. But then I went to our tag photos. I was watching all the videos, and I was like, bro. It was unreal. Insa- Bro, I didn't realize we didn't start talking until like yeah. literally 35 seconds. No. They were ch- chanting and Legit. cheering. It was crazy. We couldn't start the show. It was crazy. It was they crazy. were nuts, bro. New York, LA. You got. I'm. T- I'm not. I I'm, not one to, can. I'm not one to like. I right, double dog dare you. I'm just saying you, if you got a lot, you, they, New York bit off a lot, but they could chew it. Oh so I don't God. know how. I don't know. I, I'm just saying, LA. Uh, we love y'all. We'll see you soon. But New York right now is like the mecca. The mecca. Like the the what is it? The uh, the upper echelon. No, what? No. The, the climax. Stop it. The like apex. W- stop it. When you compare something to the alpha, like, the top dog. Oh my God! Shut up with your wolf and sheep shit. The thi- like the the pinnacle. Damn you! The the uh, <laughs> shit! The I'm about to hit myself with this dreadlock. Um, the like okay, comparing it, they are the the standard. Shit, that was so hard for that, such a level one. Word. Yeah, that was so bad. Okay, anyway, enough of the show. First off, we'll deep deep like we'll talk about a lot here, but a deep full blown dive on everything New York, including the show, will be on Patreon. Go look at that. But in the extended of this week's extended episode. What did you think about New York? I know, first off, before you answer, okay, we were there for four days, and we simply did not have as much time as we thought we did. Like, we were expecting, like, dude, we're going to go see Statue of Liberty. We're going to go eat at this. Dude, we were just busy. Like, yeah, it's, busy cr- the whole it's crazy time. how the only thing we had to do there was the live show, but so many things kept popping yeah. up. Like, and it was, it was fantastic. We didn't get to be as much a tourist as we wanted to, but what did you think about New York, the place in general? Before we get into New York, I just want to say, because I know the Dallas crowd's really upset that we just said that. Dallas, oh, y'all that Dallas show is fantastic. 100%. And it will always have the most special place in our heart because it was our first one. 100%. It, there's like, they all have a, like, there's a, there, I'm getting it made, but there's like a thing in my house of that Dallas show. Yeah, so and like, it's, it's not like they just smoked your boots out yeah. of the, like, it, no, it wasn't. It wasn't a smoking of the boots. It was a one and and you one know B. two, one B. I'd say one and two, but okay. it wasn't like first place and eighth. Like yeah, it, yeah, it yeah. wasn't like a damn you know. Anyway, we got to see how LA comes. I'm Facts. very nervous to see how LA comes because LA is everybody's cool and like. But that's what hot. I thought about New York. I thought New York just yeah. because okay, any of our followers from not in the south, y'all don't understand this. Southern hospitality is a real thing. Yeah. Oh my like, god. New York is so rude. Just our, our <laughs> way. Of, and the, but I don't think they're they're not actively trying to be rude. It's they're just, just they're, born into yeah. it. Like that's just their way of life. So. Us going into it, we're expecting like, oh, tough crowd. Yes. Like y- jokes will land, but it'll just be like a, huh. yeah, like that type of thing. Yeah. Completely not. Like no, they were God, the crowd so was, involved. The crowd was crazy. But, was so good. Ha- to answer your question, yes, how I felt about New York. New York um, immediate anxiety attack as soon as we left the airport. The second we got off the. Pl- it started before we left. Your damn bag, that oh, yeah. fiasco. That's oh my God. On, that's it's on, on Patreon. It's well. on the vlog. It's gonna be on the vlog. But basically. You know how whenever you get your luggage, it's on the conveyor belt? <laughs> you know, your luggage is on the conveyor belt whenever you go to pick it up and you leave? Hey, mine was on the floor in the eight, other eight side of the Eight feet away. <gasps> eight feet away. One guy kicked it yeah. for, for no fucking the reason. Fu- like, New York, what's happening? But um, immediate anxiety attacks, like, you, we, we got out of the airport to, like, the pickup for our Uber. You would have thought... There is no words that are spoken in New York, <laughs> yeah. only yelling and, and honks. honks. Yeah. And I was like, I can't Morris hear Coast. myself think. Yeah. Um, so busy. Um, the one thing I do like about New York, people can dress. Bro. Like the clothing in New York was Every, immaculate. Everybody has just like their own drip. Yeah. Like there's there's obvious mainstream stuff that mm-hmm. it's like that would look cool wherever yeah. you are. But it's like New York. It's like I say this at the risk of sounding like an ass, but I don't mean to. It's almost as if 
everything's like slightly dingy. <clears throat> yeah. Or like dirty. It's like street not, wear. Not like dirt, but like for, you know what I'm saying? Like for a reason. Like vintage almost. Like vintage. Like yeah. there's like holes in it and yeah. stuff like that, but it's just sick. Like yeah. it, it matches. It literally matches the energy of the city. We were going to, we were driving to some, we were going to we're, go shoot with Rory and Maul. Yeah. And we were driving past a coffee shop. A dude was literally in like a $15,000 outfit going to get coffee. Yeah. It was just, I was and, like, and what is not happening? That, not that you have to have $15,000 to look cool, but it's like everyone just in their own, yeah. just regular stuff. Like, like one guy would have quadruple XL pants mm -hmm. and on me it looked moronic, yeah. but on him it looked sick. So cool. Another guy had on jeans. Everything's rolled up, showed the sock, showed the shoe, <laughs> had a little blazer. I'm just like, bro, the, it's like everyone here is just like, you're born into being rude and having swag. Yeah. And it's just like, one thing about New York is I've never seen so many people cry and I've never seen so oh, many yeah. people fall. Yeah. So many people touched earth in New York. Dude, that, that woman in Times Square. God bless. Dude, oh that could have been God. horrible. That could have been really <laughs> It'll, we'll talk about it on the extended, but basically she busted ass. She was about in her late fifties, almost sixties and it, she legit could have broke a hip. She and, didn't, thank God. But. Yeah. And I'm not gonna lie. I've never seen more people have tears in their eyes. Every, Fact. every building I went to, there's at least one person crying. I was like, why is everybody so sad here? Bro, <laughs> honestly, like what? <laughs> like everyone was hotel just like, somebody's like, crying bro oh the kid the little girl got lost bad Dude, yeah. parents crazy crazy place um but uh, okay outside of that smelled like piss the place itself for being a tourist so not the crying not the swag but just like the way of life how we walked everywhere the food the uh, the uh, tourist attractions stuff like that what'd you think i respect it a lot and i get it yeah not for me yeah i think i need to go back simply without working 100%. Maybe I can get a full because the people, our friends that we went with, they had a good time. Like they yeah. were out there exploring for real. Yeah, and that looked like fun. Fun. Yeah. And I was like, I, we just never got to do yeah. that. Um, shout out to Stadium Goods. We went to Stadium Facts. Goods. They hooked us up with some cool stuff. Um, shout out to Rory and Maul. That was like a like a childhood like thing for Milestone. me. Milestone. And it's crazy. We got to do a, uh, an episode on their Patreon. If you're not 18 and up, do not go watch it. Yeah. <laughs> we. It's not this. I promise you. It's like very mature. Don't go over there if you're not. But if you are 18 and up, go subscribe go check to out their Patreon. Patreon. Uh, we got. They came to the show. Yeah, uh, we no, they're, the whole stage. literally everyone from top to bottom, like their whole crew is just sick. so cool. Just love all of them. Yeah. Like, just great energy, great vibes. They're all it's just one big working machine. Cogs are always moving. Like it's just it's dope. Yeah, and we're gonna take some of their set and put it on ours. Yeah, their set 100%. is insane. Hundred percent. Um, but yeah. Oh, one of the things I was like, I'm really in New York. Is we went to Starbucks the first real day. It was mm -hmm. the day before the show. I believe. Yeah, it was Friday. It was our, yeah, Friday. Friday morning. We, Starbucks across the street from our hotel. Just go to Starbucks, whatever. Get Easy, a coffee. Simple coffee. A little breakfast, whatever. It's a group of young ladies coming in about our age. I'm a gentleman. I'm from the South. My mom, I have a black mother. She raised me. You treat women, you know, you're from the South. You know what I mean? I just move a certain way. I was like, these ladies coming in. Cut from a certain cloth. Exactly. I'm going to hold the door for these ladies. Y'all have a beautiful morning type shit. <laughs> I'll open the door for them. They literally looked at me like I spit in their mouth. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Not their mouth. <laughs> this okay, cut them um, um, but yeah, I opened the door for them. And I said, Gosh. they literally looked they looked at me like this. They went, yeah. It's it is it's so strange. Like people think it's almost so ass backwards. There, like people think acts of kindness is like you're like spiting mm -hmm. someone. It's it's a strange place. Yeah, but uh, overall. Love, love the people of New York. Are the you should know people of you. you mm -hmm. <laughs> love the you should know people of New York. Um, uh, everybody seemed to have fun at the after party except for me. <laughs> everybody got fired. <laughs> as long as the fans had fun, that's all that matters. Y'all yeah. had a really personal experience. <laughs> a little too personal. It was like this. I'm like. Uh, no, it was great. We love you, everybody. And the Fantastic. great thing about the after party. That place fucking sucked. <laughs> we can fuck that place. <laughs> oh, you had fun? I'm kidding. Hi, John. I'm hey, kidding. Cam, how was Ludlow House? Do you remember? <laughs> I was like, I literally was like this. <laughs> um, but uh, one of the cool things, we there was some really cool, like, bros at the after party. There really party. was, yeah. Dude, they're playing... Um, 
pool the whole time pink you should know had they had this on uh it was they were really cool i literally handed them a bottle and bro went crazy yeah the really cool dudes everybody was wearing the He's merch going through something there was a bodybuilder girl that literally threatened to fight me yeah in the section there was a correctional officer that showed us her bad. I was like am i under arrest yeah. like what is, yeah. like a show, what is this we but, had so many people had such heartfelt stories too a lot yeah. of hugs and tears. we we love like obviously the after party is designed for us to go out celebrate the amazing show that we just had that y'all made happen made a reality and came to and then y'all can come as well we all just like a big party but at the same time at some of the i mean there's been two but at both after parties that's when like we can actually talk and like you said to your point there was some really like there's some really deep deep stuff. like deep stuff there's really just fun upbeat things a lot of just stories that were shared and it, was, it was sick it was shout awesome. out to the people that came to there was a second show same facts. A lot of people, there's two women, I forgot their name, but they were at the Dallas show and they made custom shirts. Yes. Um, I remember y'all, y'all came to the meet and greet. Elite. Shayna. Uh, uh, Catherine. Catherine. Don't say the one part, but yeah. with the hippie shirt. Yeah. That was Catherine sick. was dope. Um, Shayna, of course, just a goat from Amsterdam. But, uh, oh, uh, Brooke from the from the Discord. She's yeah. a legend. Um, uh, Chloe with the tattoo. Yeah. It was so many cool. So like, y'all are becoming like a, a family. Eliza was there. Yeah, it was so dope. We love y'all. Um, We'll talk about more in New York. We got to move on. It's 20 minutes in. The You Should Know Podcast. It's not a bird. It's not a plane. It's a ball trimmer sent from space. Whoa. Gentlemen, our friends over at Manscaped have been working night and day to bring you a below-the-waist grooming experience like no other. With their brand new performance package 5.0 Ultra. <laughs> Featuring the lawnmower 5.0, we're talking about a next generation trimmer with interchangeable blade heads for whatever shave your mind can imagine. Upgrade your grooming game to the Ultra Sphere this year by going to manscaped.com for 20% off plus free shipping with the code PSH. High tech for low places, Manscaped. You know what, Uncle P? What do I know when you want me to know that you should tell me? I think AI is pretty cool. We can agree on that. I do agree. But this guy right here, this might be the biggest technological advancement we've ever seen. Okay, tell me why. The Lawnmower 5.0 Ultra, Ultra Package from Manscaped themselves. Every man knows how scary it can get when going for a close shave below the belt. Mm -hmm. That's why we trust... Manscaped. Inside this package, you'll find the star of the show. Their fifth generation trimmer features two interchangeable next-gen skin-safe blade heads. Ooh. A standard one for taking a little off the top. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. And a new foil blade to go as smooth wherever your heart desires. Get 20% off plus free shipping with the code PSH at manscaped.com. That's 20% off plus free shipping with the code PSH at manscaped.com. I can promise you've never seen a ball trimmer look like a spaceship. Get yours today from our folks at Manscaped. Now on to the rest of the episode. The you Should Know Podcast. One thing I realized about myself. Oh God, that's that's always frightening, <laughs> to be honest. If, if it's a realization that you had, it's, it's, it's gonna be crazy, it's frightening. I don't smell good on planes, no matter how hard I try. There's something about that altitude that does something to my body and my breath. <laughs> okay. Okay. My breath, breath wasn't high in there. No, in your, your, your breath smelled like bark. It's literally smelled like wood chips. But I don't understand that. It's me like me neither. The altitude does nothing. Yeah. No, it doesn't. Yeah. No, it, because nothing. literally, I got prescription mouthwash. I went to it. I called one of my dentist friends and I said, "Give me prescription mouthwash because I know how my breath gets on planes." And I don't know if it's the Biscoff <laughs> or, or the nuts. I don't know what it is. But I use the prescription. <laughs> the, thir the 13 garden salsa mini sun chips. Dude, that's bro. Cool. It's so small. It's so small. I want to be like, hey, give me six of those 14 Biscoffs in silence. On Delta, they have like options. Yeah. Like other planes, it's like this nuts or Biscoff get. or whatever. Yeah. Delta has like options. It's like granola bar, nuts, sun chips, or Biscoff. Mm -hmm. And we both go, can I take the lot? <laughs> yeah. Just give, give me all four. Um, but yeah, and so, Why? but I realized. Okay, no, 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 no. Why? I don't know. I used the prescription mouthwash right before we got on the plane. Like, I went to the bathroom. That's why you went to the bathroom again. You sicko. <laughs> and I was like, I will smell good on this flight. Like, I will my mouth at least. My body, I can't do anything Are about it. Are you just it. angst? Like, is it just pure anxiety? I don't know, but and you, I get that film over the teeth. Bro, you're not, it's like, 
You're not going to bed. Like, what? How are you? What are you? What's filming in your mouth? I don't know, bro. I think it's the clouds coming in. From it has the, nothing. To do, it has nothing to do with the atmosphere. It has absolutely nothing to do. With, you are in a pressurized cabin. It's it may the same it's the as the pressure. Bus. It sucks your mouth. Do you ever feel that in your brain? Your brain gets smushed on a plane? No, something popped in my head. <laughs> we yeah. were, like, it was bad. But uh, there's a point, because me and Cam, we sync movies on the plane. So we yeah. watch the same movie at the same time. It's a little date night. Yeah, it's fun. And so, <laughs> live. And so, uh, there was one part, like, it was a, <laughs> there was a great part of the movie. And I was like, how can we see that? I was like, oh, God. I said, yeah, I see it. Now I smell it, too. I didn't know we were watching 4D. Yeah, scratch and sniff movie. Yeah, I still don't believe in those. It's not real. Well, you don't believe in much. Do you believe in Christ? Never of course I do. Of course I do. Dragon didn't get to make it to New he York. Didn't. We couldn't deflate the little bastard. We couldn't deflate the little bastard. We tried, bro, like all I the way up. Yeah, well, I don't know. But I don't know what it is about planes, bro. I can't. I, I, I can't. No, you do stink. But it's like, <laughs> it's. I just don't get it. It's like, wake up. But on its okay, it could be one thing. You always layer up like heavily on a plane. It's cold. Take it off. Like turn the air off. Dude. What are you doing? No, you always have like double, triple layers on a plane. No, I don't. No, I do not. I wear double. You I wear a full blown Nike Tech on because we're, it's New York. It was sixty four. I thought it was gonna be cold in New York, but the the thing I do is I do layer my bottoms because I get I get sweaty ass syndrome on the planes. You get sweaty ass syndrome. You get sass, sweaty ass syndrome because you're you have three layers. On. No, I could literally be in a thong. My ass will be wet. <laughs> it's no. It has nothing to do. Like okay, you in a thong. Ooh, honest to God. Yeah, you like that it? is one of the scariest <laughs> pictures I've ever had to create out of my own imagination. Why? That is terrifying. Why? So long. It's like just so hello. Good morning to you. You like your morning coffee? <laughs> so tall, yeah, rather. Yeah. So hairy. So skinny. Yeah. It's just, that's frightening. I think my, my body hair proportions is weird. <laughs> yeah, it is. It really knees. is. The back of your knees are baby ass smooth. <laughs> Look at it. It's just a bald spot. Yeah, it's like bald it's right like here. It's like a knee, a knee barber. Just and, went, <laughs> oh my God, and then there's moist. hair right here, but there's no hair like right here. Put your legs down. I was giving them a diagram. Yeah, they're about to see a... Mm, mm -hmm. mind. That would have been an immediate cut. But yeah, I, I don't know what it is on planes, bro. I, 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 you know what I mean? I, wait, what song is that? I, 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 brrr, jungle beats, holla at me. I sing it. What's that song called? <laughs> What's the name of that tune? I can't sing. Be careful. It's too weird. Some hot, hot. Like I told you, I when I shot, shot. Shot what? That's how I have to sing those songs. Oh, no, no, no. Matter of fact, now that I'm thinking about it, to hell with me, you are a sick bastard. You're one of the sickest freaks I know. I'm a sick bastard. That's the one thing I'm learning about you the more time I spend with you. You are gross. Okay, so I eat a sandwich under a tire one time, and now I'm as dirty as you. And use five-in-one shampoo. That was, okay, I already, I told America, I told the, the United Nations, I told everyone. It was a one-time buy. Literally used it once, late at night, had to bathe, quick Dollar General's running. No, we were in New York. The first day we landed in New York, we were hungry off the plane. We got to our hotel, we checked in. We were in New York. Let's go get food. Let's go to a New York restaurant for the first time. There we go. I think it was like Bill's Burgers. Something, something. it was shit. We sit down, we all order our food, the food comes. We're eating our cuisine, having a good time. We're in New York. Oh my God, New York food. We're I don't kiss mine. Food. I don't kiss my food. You kiss me when I eat, when I eat something. I kiss you when you eat something. You need, you need a brain cleanse. You, you need, you need Christ. You need, I mean, you need a Bible it's study. You need a devotional. It's going to be hard. It's going to be real hard. Oh, that weird. meeting's gonna be a long one. Please, Sawyer! <laughs> Lord. No, we're eating our food, right? Yeah. We're eating. What's disgusting? We're halfway through our meal, right? Cam goes, oops, I gotta go to the bathroom. <laughs> oops. It was like a mistake. What do you mean, oops? Cam says, I gotta go take a shit. First of all, why are you announcing that over my green beans? <laughs> you know I, mean? I have to do it. I, okay, the announcement, I didn't have to make a PSA, but <laughs> bodily function, sue me. Do you not know your body timing? Go before. I didn't have to poop before. You're like a little boy, dog. How am I? I didn't have to poop before. I had to poop in the moment I poop. So I have to poop, I poop. You're not you have to poop, you hold. That's yeah. why your insides suck. 
Your digestive system is magical how fast it works. You are halfway through your cuisine, and now you got to go alleviate your bowels. That is a clean system. That is a clean, well-oiled machine. I kid you not. We're halfway through our meal. Cam gets up, bends over the table. Oh, God. <laughs> Heads oh, to the bathroom. Oh, oh. Ten minutes go by. Aggressive shit time. <laughs> Ten minutes. That's, that's a long shit time. I know. It's aggressive. No, aggressive would be like a 45 second. You sit down. No, that <laughs> means that motherfucker was just that was ready to fall. You had to work for that, John. I did. There was you one, had, it was one part. I had, let me. Stop. You had to stretch. I had to. You put on a headband for that one. Okay. You were sweating. I was shirtless. Toes in were a curling. <laughs> shirtless in a restaurant taking a poop. <sighs> you had to unlace your sneakers. Like, I said, God. "Hey, brother, can you fan me? I need some help." <laughs> oh um, God. Cam comes back to the table ten minutes later. Sits down like nothing's happening. I kid you not. Cam had a burger. Cam goes like this. <sighs> it's a sip. What are you wiping off? What are you wiping off your hands? I think, I think that was just for presentation. I, I definitely washed warm water, double soap, lather it up. You've never double soaped in your life. You don't know what I do with my soap. You don't know how I soap. You don't know where get I soap. Get your cane out of my face. Get your cane out. Get your face out of my cane. Sue me! I had to poop. I go, don't you dare rub your tail mid-sentence. He <laughs> said, we're not in costume. Get that off you, matter of fact. No, it's my protective blanket. Okay, I had to poop, and I can't, what am I supposed to do, just stare at my food? <laughs> I'm going to finish it. I paid for it. You know me, I'm going to finish every the damn fact, bite, and then I'm going to finish yours. The fact that you reset your stomach to eat more is Criminal behavior. Hello, dude. checkpoint. <laughs> I can now finish the burger. How could my appetite's done? If I go into a bathroom and smell the smell of my own creation, <laughs> I don't want to eat anymore. Okay, but that doesn't it, that we're, that doesn't count because you have the you have the stomach capacity of a small raven. Like you can't you can't eat a lot ever. You can't eat a lot of food ever. You eat two bites and you're done, and then you get the little you get little pecks. You're, you're literally like you're like a crow. You're feral. Like. I can eat everything you are, on the whole table. You're literally like a falcon. When yeah, you if, if I have to poop, I'm gonna go poop. I don't care what you, I don't care what my wife or the rest of our crew has to say. I went and pooped. I double layered with the soap, washed with very warm water, about 20, 30 seconds, came back, finished the burger. That's like, that's like charging your phone before a road trip. You're like, you have to, you have to like recharge your stomach to go eat some more. Like that's- Honestly, I could have finished the burger, but did, did you want to smell my inside sitting at the table? It was either shit down my leg or go shit in the porcelain throne. What was this move? I don't, that's, I don't know. You had, you had shit crumbs on your head. <laughs> I did not have shit crumbs. You had dingleberry fingers. I did not have dingleberry, dingleberry fingers. I did not have dingleberry fingers, shit crumbs, or poop phalanges. None of, none of the above. I think that was just for, I don't know, I was re- I was but the fact is, mind. no one like no one acknowledged you were coming back, so you are making a presentation for anybody. That was genuine. genuine. <laughs> Let's get back to it. And then you were like this with your oh, burger. Oh, You're okay. a nasty freak. Okay, I did that for the queso, not the burger. There was queso under the fingernail. <laughs> oh! I had to get it out. What? There was queso still in your fingernail from the first trip? No, bastard. Oh! I just double layered and washed with soap. What did I say? A cuss word when I was sick? You did not. You did not. <laughs> oh my god. I'm about to debunk you right now. I'm about to debunk you. It's another gif. Oh my god. You did not surgery wash your hands. You did not fingernail wash. Like, Cam, on, on your dog's No, life. I didn't fingernail wash. So you still had fingernail juice. I ate and queso. Ate. I ate queso when I came back. I ate queso when I came back. Cry all that you want. That wasn't queso. Cry all you want, Lionel Richie. I don't know I don't know why I said that. Be careful. Is he dead? I don't know. I think he's dead. God bless him. Bless his soul. So You're a what? sick bastard. I, I love I love that every week we're progressively, progressively finding out that Cam's more disgusting because it's hard. You know what? Whenever I started the podcast, I knew I'm not going to hide myself. I'm going to be straight direct to the people and tell them all my shit. So me standing up at dinner going, hey, I'm going to go drop a deuce. I'll be back in a quarter. That's not being direct. That's hiding. To the people. I would say, hey, I'll, I'll have to take a phone call. I'm going to be back. <laughs> And then I come back. I'm saying to the people, the whole- We want to, you want to IRL stream it to them? Hey, taking a shit at Bill's Burger. <laughs> All right, guys, let's go back. I'm saying, you try to present yourself as this normal guy that has no weird tendencies, all this. Having to poop. And now that poop we're, we're over a year in, it's hard, bud. Now, it's your time. No, you're just so your distraught turn. with your own disgust. There's a lot of D. There's a lot of D. You are so- <laughs> God damn.
<laughs> you are you so distraught with your own disgust that you just have to you have to pinpoint every one of my normal interactions. That's Man. not normal, bro. It's not normal to okay. factory reset okay. your stomach and then finish a double quarter pounder let's, with let's fries. We were not at McDonald's. We were at Bill's. I had a smash burger. I think no, it was the third day. Let's just say let's just say it for what it is. Let's do the Pythagorean theorem on it and let's just break Trap it down. That is cool. Don't know what that is. Okay. Man has to poop. Yep. Open bathroom. Yep. Man poops in open bathroom. Okay. Man comes back to half finished meal. Man still hungry. Man with half finished meal. Man eat. <laughs> but you weren't hungry. So all of us, so I go from I can eat anything in sight to now I'm not hungry. No, you weren't. Hey, Raven Belly, some of us can finish sandwiches, okay? You go, okay, semi truck gut. <laughs> all right? Listen, Bubba. You were full. That's why you had to go shit. You literally cleansed your colon, finished meal, wiped hands in front of people, dingleberry fingernails, you chewed on them. <laughs> okay, now I'm chewing on my nails? You were like, I, I you were like, oh, this... that's the corn from before the flight. So you just ruined that. You just soiled this moment for us. The corn before the flight. I should bonk your nugget with this dense cane. Oh, my mom yeah. was in complete disgust when you spit last week. When you said, I think Lisa started went, to dislike went, me. Oh, she was like, why'd that boy spit? Why did I make her sound like a southern gal from like Augusta? Yeah. Why'd that boy spit? I think your mom's starting to dislike me. She loves you more than you know. I love Elisa. That's, why, that's why you're invited to Sunday's uh, dinner, oh, family dinner. Thanks to Kennedy. So I can eat. You're invited every single time. You just don't translate. Yeah, hey, bit. maybe I'll put that on a story. Um, maybe I'll put that on a story. What? How little you eat. I do eat little. It's, it's bullshit. It's the anxiety. Eating around foreigners. I can't. They're all family and friends. I know, but I just now got to the point of being comfortable eating around y'all. I just can't. Like, my, my mouth doesn't open that wide in front yeah, of strangers. I don't, whatever. <laughs> and and I, I, there's a part of the show, because I say a joke about you during the show. I looked at your mom. She did not like that joke. I'm sorry. <laughs> my, I mean, my mom, if y'all don't know, some anybody that's been to either of the live shows, my mom's been present. Uh, you've you've met her. She says she took some pictures with some of y'all. That's crazy. Yeah, <laughs> literally lives mom. Your but, uh, mom's taking pictures. My mother of is um, oh Saint Teresa. Yeah. Like she literally the I innocent could, soul. I could sell poop popsicles. My mom would buy a twelve. Yeah, pack. she'd like, be like, you got more in the inventory yeah, in the warehouse. Like, I can help with marketing. Like she <laughs> she'll do yeah. any and everything Good for God. any of us in here. So shout out to you. You're an amazing mother. Yeah. <sighs> anyway, but she uh she didn't like that joke. She was sitting there. She said, it's not true. Oh, there's 400 people crying laughter. She's like, <laughs> I love Lisa. Uh, and uh, sorry to all the fans that are disappointed that my family wasn't at this show. They're going to be at LA. So all the LA fans, you're going to get Mama Harden and Papa Harden and hey all them. Godly. No ramps for your dad. No <laughs> ramps, no drinks for my dad. I'm literally going to cut him. <laughs> it's like he falls completely. Like, we see him hit his knee, but then he just gets up my shoulder. <laughs> Oh, Koala Club got to see my family this weekend for a live stream and Malcolm. But one of the things Malcolm. about uh, my dad, like he's always like that dad in sports. He's great. Like, both my parents were very supportive in my upbringing in sports and they were at every game and shit. Like, you know, one thing about my like he's still in sports mode when it comes to like these events. And so like he's like, oh, yeah, competitive. Like, so I remember at the Dallas show, whenever the crowd is filing in, I looked through the curtain and my dad was standing up, literally look. Back to the stage. He was in his seat, but back to the stage, and he was literally going like this. Just like, I am the competition. He's sitting there. <laughs> like, you see, he starts slipping punches. He's like, <laughs> he's pocket watching too. He's like, that many people got, what? Preston. Preston killing a Coors Light, a tall boy Coors Light. My family is sick. <laughs> Where do you no, think no, I no, no, no. 24-ounce canned Coors Light is <laughs> sick work. Lie, and my mom, God bless her soul, she's oh, so God. supportive. She acts like, she like to act like, I didn't want no one to know, like, I was your mom. And she would get, literally, she's just proud, and she would be like, she's like, that's my baby. Like, like, the whole fucking show. <laughs> she's like, yeah, baby, I got you, baby boy. The whole show. She's like, that's, I'm on my heart. And he's like, oh, you're like, which is great. It's fine. Uh, but, wait, so they are coming to LA? Yeah. That'd be sick. Yeah. Can't wait. Hang out again. You know who my mom really wants to meet? Who? I guess we can say it. Leo Skeppy. Oh, she's yeah. really excited to Bro, meet Leo. Leo's sick. We just gotta make him meet her. Or yeah. Make her meet him. One thing, also. Oh, I love this. We're getting into the Cam Sucks podcast. Oh, we're in the Cam Sucks era. 
I went, it's been a lonely year of Peyton's growth, so I guess I can take a weekend. <laughs> I went to your house, right? I spent the night at your house. This is true. It was a fun time. What was wrong? The way you control your household is insane behavior. How? You had a fantastic time. You loved every bit, and you snuggled with Ruby. We, I woke up in the morning, right? To snuggles from Ruby. From, so, yeah, right in my crotch. That's where she That likes. sounds weird, but she's, she likes she's to a, she she's, sleeps in the crotch. She's a crotch dweller. She, and especially me, because it smells, and she's like, ooh, septic tank. I like this. <laughs> It's like, ooh, it reminds me, it reminds me of the natural outside. It reminds me of where I was Just born on the side, on of the, side of the road. <laughs> God bless Ruby. She's uh, such a cute creature. I woke up in the morning, and then, as most people do in the morning, I want breakfast. Yeah. I'm hungry. Oh, my God. I go, Cam, Cam went, I'm hungry. I said, Cam, I'm hungry. You got any breakfast for me? I said, there's waffles in the freezer. Okay, there we go, and we'll go right there. Cam offers me waffles. <sighs> waffles? were stored in the freezer. What do you have to do to make waffles? Put them in a toaster. Okay. I grab the waffles. I'm going to Cam's kitchen. I'm looking, I'm surveilling the counter, right? I see an oven. <laughs> I see coffee creamer somewhere. Cutting board. <laughs> Where the fuck's the toaster? <laughs> Where's the fucking toaster, Cam? I go, Cameron, how do you want me to make these waffles Y'all don't own a toaster. Cam, what did you say to me? I'm never going to live this down. It's not even that weird. No, it's strange how you behave. It's not that weird. Where was the toaster? I said, oh, no, no, no. You're stupid, bro. The toaster's underneath the cabinet in the back. How? How do you have waffles readily available that you offered me, mm -hmm. but your toaster's in storage? Who stores their toaster? And then tell them the explanation you gave me when you said that your toaster was in a storage closet. <laughs> I have a wife, okay? I don't know if it's this new age thing, these trendy things. Apparently, countertops are supposed to be, there we go with that mover, <laughs> spick and span, nothing on them. Be careful. Clean, boneless, I don't know. Hmm. <laughs> I... I come from a household and a manhood of toaster on counter. Because it's where needed. it belongs. She is like, counter needs to be spotless. Put the toaster underneath, behind the Instapot, tuck it away. I go, I like toasting things. She goes, get used to it. So, happy wife. Happy a wife. toaster is something you need every day almost. M more than likely. Most, most days I find myself bending over, grabbing that toaster, plugging it in, using it, putting it back. Hello. <laughs> How do you offer me something? And then the toasters. Do you not understand hey, that? Hey, hey, bring it in. It took you all of 10 seconds. 10 seconds to get the toaster. No, no, it didn't. Oh, it okay. caused back pain. You know I have a very frail back. You have a very round back. <laughs> a very, there's something protruding. That image in New York, something is popping out of your back. Seen the you, have, you have like, a, it's like a, a damn uh, Godzilla. I like was a in a bag scale. race for three years. They called me Turtle Boy. I walked around campus like this. To 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 okay. Do I think a toaster should be on the counter? Yes. Does it have to? No. It's just extra it's steps not for no reason. I agree. I, but I shouldn't cut the back of my hand trying to get a breakfast. That's true. But it's it it is what it is. Happy wife, happy life. The toaster's underneath the cabinet. I don't know what to say. Oh, another thing. Oh. Yes! I finally feel like- What, I, what the hell is going to be the title of this episode? Cam sucks. Yeah. Episode 85, Cam sucks. Speaking of boneless, because you said that the counter should be boneless, Cam doesn't understand the sanctity of wings. Oh my god. We go to a wing spot, right? What are you supposed to eat at a wing stop? Say wings. it. Wings. <laughs> Hello. I say, can I get 10 lemon pepper dry, please? Because I'm a normal person. Cam goes, can I get the buffalo- boneless wings i almost called the fbi i said hey bud that's a chicken nugget it's a good wing good wing boneless wings are chicken nuggets wings with bones are 40 percent bone 15 percent gristle 45 percent meat i don't have time to do a damn mystery puzzle with my tongue to get meat sorry you don't have a talented a tongue like me. Oh yeah, sorry I don't have a tarmac of a tongue like you too. Wide ass tongue. You have a Hoover damn tongue. Your tongue disgusts me. You have the tongue of a cobra. <laughs> and it splits. <laughs> oh, it does not split. You know you can cut your tongue and it'll grow back? I don't want to know that. Anyway. 
Cam, that's a, a boneless okay. wing is not a wing. Yes, it is. It's still a wing. No, it's not. Okay, then what's the difference between a boneless wing and a chicken nugget? Tell me. One's a wing. One's a nugget. Why? Why? Because one's called a nugget. Hey. <laughs> Asshole. You. One's a nugget, one's... Okay, super close cousins, maybe even twins. Maybe They're definitely fraternal. They're not identical. But, I, okay, if I know the wing spot and they hold dear to me, I can get flats. I'm a flats guy. You've seen me devour flats. I've never, I, I honestly haven't. I devour flats. And if you I'm leave going, so much meat going, on the bone of a chicken... I'm going... Oh, don't you dare. You do. Oh, I've been raised. <laughs> I have been I know. Raised. I know how to eat wings. My friends and family have taught me. A good flat... Very lovable. However, new spot. I don't know what they do. I don't know how you do your rub. I don't know anything. Give me boneless so I can just taste it for the pure flavor. And oh, is that a crime? And Cam, I don't know if you were raised by the queen of England. Cam doesn't just eat his chicken nuggets from a wing spot. His boneless wings, chicken nuggets. He doesn't just eat them with his hands. Fork and knife. If, the, if they're boneless, why the hell should I pick it up? If I'm not going to stab a bone, if I'm not going to stab... If I'm not going to get off your tippy toe, Michael Jackson, if I'm not going to stab a femur, why should I pick it up? Hey, Princess Diana, grow some nuts, dog. What is that? <laughs> that scared me. What is this? Some nuts. Oh, sorry. Your nuts. Grab your nuts, dog. Grab them two little grapes, dog. Hold them. Raisins. Hey. I'm wearing a goddamn thong. You are. You're sick. It is eating you alive. Oh, my God. Hey, guess what? There's no bone. I can stab with a fork. I can eat it. I can. Do taste you understand the sauce. why people don't have a good time around you now? <laughs> Do you understand why people resent time with you? Huh? You get that salsa boy? Huh? So, okay, that's another thing. I like chips and salsa. Just because I ask for my own cup of salsa when we go to restaurants, why is that an offense? And then, why does that piss you off? Because so you're much? a cheap son of a bitch, <laughs> and you still want to split the bill after and divvy up the salsa. Oh, uh, you're responsible for 85% of the salsa that was consumed on this table. That's your salsa. Hey, numbskull, empty brain boy. The purchase is one-time purchase. They don't refill your salsa in. Oh, that's another 50 cents. That's another 50 cents. The chips is in. It's, it's not the salsa. It's called ass. bottomless chips and salsa. You ignorant bastard. From certain places. You do it everywhere, dumbass. Na name two restaurants that Be charge careful. for refill. Name two. Re re mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Get it out, tongue boy. Name two. Re oh, you want tongue boy. <laughs> name two restaurants that charge for refills. I, can't, I don't know. I don't know. Because I don't ever have to ask for that. Because one is enough for me. That's it's an right. appetizer. That's right. Because you eat like a small guinea pig. You eat like Shrek, donkey boy. You eat like a piglet. A brand newborn pig that winks still. And has cute little hooves that really? resemble boots. Really? Yeah. You eat like a farm animal. You eat slop. Olivia, Google small, top five smallest stomachs. <laughs> that's, what, that's what you are. It's on my favorite oh, birthday page. Oh my Jesus Christ. <laughs> what? You just laughed. There was a waterfall of saliva in your mouth. It was it literally looked like Charlotte's web. It was a spider web of spit in your mouth. Oh my god, that might have been part loogie. It was so thick. <laughs> One thing about me. Don't no, no. I need you need a spit or swallow. My mouth has been getting real wet recently. That's but it's almost clemmy. Uh, that's like a condition. I you mean, just said you get film on your teeth yeah. from two hours of just living. Like, how does that happen? What are you doing? I didn't brush my teeth when I went back home. I forgot my toothbrush. My teeth have been hurting. She's like, I can't find it. <laughs> Did you just say uh -huh. you were in Austin? Yeah. <laughs> For like three days? For 72 hours. Yeah. And <laughs> you didn't brush your teeth. <laughs> I couldn't. Your shit. I couldn't. <laughs> is like this. <laughs> Golden. <laughs> Flimmy. Yeah. Engravements on it. Yeah, I realized there's a problem on the last day when I woke up in the morning and I like looked in the mirror and it looked it was like orange, like in my <laughs> <it> gum. <laughs> no, you, no, we need we need a, a dentist sponsor. We need a dentist sponsor. You need free work. You need free work. If God knows you will not go out of your way to fix your teeth. You need a better grill. I'm getting veneers. Everyone and, that just heard that comment, tell them how stupid he is. And I don't have to brush my teeth after that. Kid has a good grill. He's just. Lazy. I'm not lazy. At certain things, you are quite lazy. At we what? all are. At we what? Hygiene. <laughs> Probably the most important thing to not be lazy at. No, I got a lot of compliments in New York about 
how I smelled. As a single man, you own 17 different colored towels. First off, that's impressive. You, ha I do I've never seen a, a such a strange and unique assortment of towel colors. I've never seen it. First off, they all hurt my skin when I use them. They are all very sharp, very sharp towels. And every single, I swear to God, every single one of them is a different color. How do I go to your apartment and ask to bathe and you don't have a single damn clean towel? A single towel I don't out of set. You have two rainbows full of towels, different colors. Unbelievable. Like you have palette colored towels that are sharp as shit and hurt my skin. And you don't have a single one clean. And you don't think you're lazy at hygiene. That's <laughs> because I don't reuse towels. How about this? When you shit, you use Febreze, right? When yeah. I go to your bathroom... I want you to lie on this camera right now and say you don't use for reason you shit. I don't spray my own apartment with <laughs> my ass. There's not three <laughs> cans of Febreze anytime I walk into your bathroom. But I don't use And more than likely, shit. two of them are completely empty. Throw them away? <laughs> you weird ass. I have a hard time. Throw them away? You have a hard time throwing? You just dig your ass. What are you doing? You're getting nervous. Your teeth are starting to film. Your body's starting to sweat. Your ass is starting to itch. It's that damn tail. Oh, that's criminal. You hooked the tail onto the mic cord. What is wrong with you? You're, you're playing with it. You're looking at me. This needs to end. You need to take a break. Get away from me. Get away from me. You need to take a break. I don't know why all you my towels are so different. And they're so, fuck, they're so sharp. Your towels hurt me. Like it opens sores and wounds. Maybe, maybe honest to God, maybe that's why you stink. It literally, you're crying. It scrapes all the soap, everything off. It's all it was raised, Like a bro. normal towel is this. His towel's like... Foliate. It's like That's why my skin's so soft. I guess. Oh, we want to talk about towels. I can get into the Kennedy towels. <laughs> what? Bitches has got brown stains on them. That would be that woman right there. It's not poop. Makeup. It's her makeup. Okay, weird thing. Okay, before I dated Olivia, I was a first. You are digging. You are digging in your sphincter. You're digging in your ass. What is that? Is that a startup bike? <laughs> I can see your neck veins. Calm down. I don't what Oh, cuz you've seen me literally dig in my ass with a brand new white towel. Cuz of her and her makeup. I said the same thing. No. She tried to uh no. Yes. You wipe your ass. And fold it for the other. What? I wipe my ass and fold it like a vampire is what you said. Untuck yourself. You're like you're like this. Ah! <laughs> you wipe your ass <laughs> with white towels. She makes us buy white towels. And did you roll them and put them there for display? She okay. That's what I was saying before Olivia. I was never. I never had a white towel. I that's just, a dangerous I, game. I think that's a danger. Do you bleed after I you shower? <laughs> <laughs> Sharp ass towels. My butt bleeds. Matter of fact. What do you use in the shower to clean yourself? Soap. And? Water. And? A washcloth. Okay. You passed. You don't use the fucking washcloth. Thank you. I use the microfiber thing. I use the thing from oh, Manscaped. Shout out to Manscaped. Shout out yeah, Manscaped. Microfiber doesn't hold bacteria. Can't grow there. It's Gucci. You're a nasty boy. Before then, I'm not going to lie though. Before then, I used a loofah and I thought that was, was disgusting. I didn't even realize. Yeah. That's very bad. I game. used to date. If you have a loofah, throw it away right now. I, when I dated a girl, I, when I go to her apartment, I would use her loofah. I didn't realize Okay, I that's like a different level of gross. <laughs> Using someone else's loofah. Her dead skin and her DNA oh my is. God. <laughs> Wait, you use her loofah? Yeah. I loved her. Did she say the end? Yeah. <laughs> what was that? Okay, normally we don't. We don't start like this yo you're nasty so you know what i'm talking about there was extra in the brim i had yo. to get it i literally went like this i went cam went yo you that's nasty bro i'm telling you you're nastier there than me there was excess in the brim relax no i did not you do do that bro you go to the gym you literally are making this up okay get on the mic you i am on my mic idiot I rock the mic. <laughs> and she rocked my mic in the park. <laughs> no, Cam Cam will go to the gym, full sweat session, go to the sauna, even wetter. Wear that same outfit for six hours straight. Doesn't unlace his boots. 
nastiest human I've ever seen in my life. If I have to work on something first, I got to work. If I take a shower, I get too comfortable, ADHD kicks in. All You smell like a German shepherd that's been herding cattle for four hours. Okay, at least I did something productive to elicit that stench. You wake up and smell horrid. How do you know what I, I smell like fresh off the wake up? You stay the night at my house. You wake up, hey, waffles, you got, Cam, you got, it's just like, if it was a cartoon, it'd be like, green fog would be that's crazy because every time i spend the night at your house the first thing you do is wake me up if ruby doesn't stay with me you throw her on me yep. and then you sit by me yeah if i sink that bad ah! so you're gonna make, you literally sit so by you're me you're gonna make fun yeah, of, yeah, shut the fuck you're you, gonna make fun of me because i enjoy our friendship you literally sit by me you're like peta mm -hmm. oh i say peta peta you go like this no way girlfriend let me wake up real quick Honestly, let me get my bonnet off I don't brush Facts. my teeth. I don't brush my teeth. Yeah, I know. I, George I Washington I like, Carver. I don't like brushing my teeth in other people's sinks. So what if I bleed in the sink? Dog, if you're bleeding from bristles, you need help. You need uh, tuck your foot. You need assistance. No, I, it's too far gone. Toothbrush bro. company, just contact us. Please contact her. No, that would be good. Yeah, hit HBIC. Uh, that would be great to have a. a <laughs> Bro, your ass is built weird. <laughs> no, but like this, it's like built like the sh like a like a P. Hey, that's gonna be on the internet forever. I just want you to know, your kids are gonna be in elementary school. <laughs> no, that's a bit much. I'm your never... kids are gonna be in elementary school in the lunchroom and be like, "Is this your dad?" <laughs> it's gonna be a hard time for them. I'm gonna go. Hey, no, that shit was moving though a little bit. That's a little too much. I've never done some shit like that. I'm not gonna lie. You always hit him with the. No, I'm good. But, at, you're, but yours is good at this. You, <laughs> you have like a coil array build. Like you have a small. Like I'm for, I'm Houston hottie herself. Meg the stallion. Talk to me. <laughs> Cam, Damn boy, I was eating them buttermilk biscuits. Cam's built like yes, Jules. <laughs> it's a compliment. I understand, Drake. Yeah, I understand. And but that's we're not gonna no, talk about that. No, should I cut that out? Yes, it's a fact. No, Everybody knows fact. that. It's a fact. Everybody knows she that. She hates hearing that. I it, mean, it makes her cry. Lo he's a loyal man. He's a great. We love his kids. They they watch the podcast. I think. I don't think I ever cheated. Me neither. <laughs> You're like, what is what does that say? You're like, <laughs> one tile, two tile. <laughs> No, no, he doesn't. But, oh, one thing about me is I've been snacking a lot. I snack. I'm a snacker. Yeah. Be careful. Don't say it. I'm a <laughs> you, I love yeah, my You snack. don't like full course meals. You're, you're, <laughs> it, it scares you, makes you sweat. You take three bites and you're, you're overwhelmed. Sorry I don't eat like a hippopotamus. You're, good, you're a good cheese it beef jerky type of guy. You eat like a bear that's been in hibernation for nine years. <laughs> okay. You. <laughs> it's so hungry. <laughs> no, I, I do need to cut down my rations. I think I'm going to go on a winter bulk, eat more. And then around February, we're going to cut. <laughs> I want to see how much you eat on a bulk. Dude, it'd be bad. And why do you eat so fast? It'd be, I do eat fast. I think that's school. School indoctrinated me to like, th I only have 20 minutes to eat. Or did like your, like, like your parents, like did they? No, my dad made me clean my plate. No, were they there like, was a couple arguments when I was young. This is how you were. I was like, Papa, I'm full. He was like, eat your damn plate, boy. This is how your parents fed you. They like put everybody in one room and they threw all the food on the floor. And you had to, <laughs> I'm <just> like, <laughs> That's what I do. That's all you eat the way you do. Dude, that you one, do that one fascinating video of the monkeys. Where, Be bro, I can't say shit. That one video of the monkeys, they literally, it was like hundreds of them. I, I don't know if it was a zoo or just wild. They literally dropped like two coolers of bananas. What are you doing? I'm thinking that the DM you sent me, I was on my phone, like laying Wait, in my one? bed. Wait, which one? And I got a notification from the Cam. dad from That's a Raven. It, it said, it said, Cam Kennedy 22 sent you a post by monkey for something. And I said, what, dog? Don't touch me. I said, hold on, dog. It's Tuesday morning. Y'all are taking this out. Why are there so many monkeys on my timeline? You sent Ryan those? Yeah, I do. No, so, dude, the other day, what we, we ate something the other day. I literally pissed. It smelled like blood. It's, I mean, it, it absolutely smelled like copper. It was bad, bro. I had to check. Yeah. No, I had to, exa I had my, to examine myself. Sometimes my piss smells like Thanksgiving. Okay. <laughs> like fucking. Asparagus pee is a real thing. Yo, oh for my sure. God, Thanksgiving food. Okay, anyway, can we talk, we were talking about food. I was talking about apes, I'm, but <laughs> of course you were. <laughs> I'm talking about snacks. Just hold on. The monkey, there was like a hundred monkeys. They threw two coolers of bananas. It was like, just like you said, 
What? Bro, they threw two coolers of bananas, but every monkey surprisingly only took what they needed. Every single monkey took one banana and ran away. You would not be a good monkey. There was I'd be a horrible monkey. <laughs> but uh <laughs> I'm so scared. <laughs> I can feel the nightmares already. <laughs> hey, crazy legs, <laughs> calm down. Dude, No, I want y'all, someone, you know the compilation y'all make? Somebody make one of his fucking legs. Willoughby Jones. Every, he's literally like this. Name or he's, like author? this. he's like this sometimes. He's like, he's doing this shit sometimes. He's like, <laughs> that's a crazy shot. I hope my manhood was covered. Anyway, it's easy to hide that. <laughs> Get him. Get him. <laughs> I was gonna say something. Just kidding, it would be like a pink fluorescent. <laughs> like a pink LED just popped out them shorts. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, snack ass, go back, Ravenclaw, go. All right, Gryffindor. All right, Hufflepuff. All right, Venom. Venom. Venom, adrenaline, momentum, venom. Don't know it, venom. Venom. I snack a lot. You do snack a lot. Oh, Again, there, there's a crumb on my lip. It tastes good. It's probably goldfish. Um, everybody, relax. This is so loose. My mic is so loose. Oh my god! No, you need to brush. You need to brush your teeth. Oh my god, Almighty! Gingivitis? Or no, dude, no. You literally looked at me. You just went. No, you don't. Oh I haven't been to the dentist, so I wouldn't know. I don't Bro, know. Why, yeah, why are you afraid of that? Back to snacks. Uh, no, I've had a dentist girl uh, talk to me one time, and she goes, it's a really real thing, uh, people having anxiety at the dentist. No, th I mean, no, that's definitely a real thing. <laughs> it's hard when you're looking at bright lights, and all you hear is... Zzzz, yeah, it's, and like, then it's, it's, it's the water and the sucker that I always have a problem with. I love with. that. It's a weird thing I like. I <laughs> know you do. I'm just like... <laughs> I always bite it, and they're like, stop chewing on <laughs> Like, stop chewing on that, sir. It's like, sir, it's gonna be two grand. Chew one more time, it's two thousand dollars. I'm literally like, because they, they put it right, they put there, it right there in my molar. Go. I'm like, you're sick. Because that's my anxious bite. It's normally the inside of my cheek. Yeah, dude, when you bled in Academy, that shit, I it's sprinted. Such a bad day. I sprinted through. I found a video on the studio phone of the night of the Tesla. Really? It's like thirty seconds. I'll put that in Patreon. Just okay. to, it's it's funny. Okay. Um. Anyway, I'm a snacker. <laughs> Damn it. One thing I've realized, I don't know why I start everything with one day I realized. It's because... Because there's my... Everything is new to me. It's because you're alone. It's because you're alone. <laughs> so much realization I, I, yeah. is in my daily life. It's good, though, for mental health. Yeah. Like, well, I don't... <laughs> not mine. But it's good for... It's, I cry It's so good much. for strength. I'm so alone and wet. And hot. <laughs> I turned on my heater, my fire alarm went off. <laughs> I have to move. Suck. All right, <sighs> damn it, you snack. God, we're getting into the uh, zoomies. <sighs> Ooh. Uh huh. I just had a hard time breathing. It's I all the English English shave my chest. chest. I need to shave my chest. Show me your chest. <laughs> you can demonetize. <laughs> oh, oh, God. Oh, God. All right. I'm a snacker. <laughs> yes. I think a sweet and salty snack, a sweet and salty combo is the oh, worst combo of all time. Oh, you bastard! You, you, the worst? The worst combo ever. Sweet and salty? I, I literally was about to, I was about to get out of my seat to hug you. Not like that. You said sweet and salty sucks. You have, you are, z you are on level zero of creativity. Why? Sweet and salty is one of the greatest things ever. No, it's literally, I think sweet and salty came from Baphomet himself. Like the devil was like, how can we harm earth? And they said sweet and salty. And you have the nastiest combo of sweet and salty I've ever seen in my life. I almost struck you. I almost hit you in public in front of, in front of colleagues. I almost just backhanded you right now for saying that. Of course you did. You Sweet and salty. You think sweet and salty? Anytime sweet and salty, not only is an alliteration, not only is it just fan fascinating to hear. It's not it an alliteration. is it simply not. And sweet and, and salty. ruins the alliteration. Sweet still S and S. No, two out of three words is S. Sweet it's and salty. It's not an alliteration though. You're not. Hey, alliteration. I was good at English. You I bet you were, Professor. Anyway, <laughs> 18 degrees didn't learn that. Anyway, sweet and salty is it is phenomenal. No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it is not. This is the thing. I've never had a peanut M&M, &M. never. And I never will have it. Anytime someone offers that to me, I'm like, immediately, you're an enemy. I don't like that. Peanut M&Ms are dingleberries from the Lord himself. See, dingleberries, peanut that's shit crust. Peanut M&Ms are 
They are an art. And I'm going to expose you for your sweet and salty combo. Halloween was just happening, right? Mm -hmm. What's going around the market during Halloween? The devil's candy. <laughs> candy corn. This man, Cam, had a bowl in his house of candy corn. I said, hopefully that's decoration. If not, I hate him. Right next to it, bowl of pretzels. I said, that's not normally what you see every day. <laughs> I kid you not, Cam, with his paw, grabs a handful of candy corn and I said, that's aggressive and strange. What are you gonna do with that? Hopefully throw it away. Nope. Other hand, double fisting, pretzels. This man grabs it together, hits one of these, popping pretzel and candy corn together. I swear to God, my knees went faint. I buckled when I saw that. And I said, oh, you buckled probably because you're hungry. You haven't eaten in two days. Don't knock it to, hey, you are this, you're the same creature that puts salt and pepper on fruit. You're the- On a banana. You're the reason- On a monkey stick. You're- be careful. You're the reason CIA hacks into laptops? Absolutely not. Your search history is on a database now because you did that. You are a disgusting, feral human. 90 out of 100 Americans are going to agree sweet and salty is fantastic. Hey. You are one of the 10. Hey, you took literally the devil's corn, <laughs> right? And put it with a savory snack as a pretzel, rattled it around like, like you're eating cashews. Dice. You were looking for a snake eye. <laughs> you were looking for a snake eye with candy corn yeah. and popping it yeah. like some Mentos. Cam, I almost put you in a half Nelson. I would have got out very frail. I would have got out of that so easy. Do you realize how nasty you are? Okay, first off. How do you figure that out? Let's break this down. This woman's mother, okay? Lolly, Chrissy P, whatever you want to call her, lives Your mom. wife's mother. My wife's mother, I saw her one day do it. She demanded me to try it out of respect. I said, sure, but she did it with peanuts, okay? okay? Peanuts, fantastic, but we had pretzels in the house. This one is a fan of bowls and shit, d decor. <laughs> yeah. The holiday, there's random yes. shit on our counters. I'm like, I'm never going to eat that. This time I'm hungry. You know me, I eat a lot. So I did it. Candy corn, pretzels. <laughs> Little jingle shake down the hatch. Let's break Pretty down. Good. Let's break down your resume real quick. <laughs> you eat candy corn by the handful. First of all, under the prison is where you belong. Second of all, you eat parking lot sandwiches. gotten off the ground that quick lay down and sniff under your it is horrid oh my god that's what my bedroom feels like you want to talk about a uh, parking lot meat that is that is a dude oh my god under under your side of the couch that smells awful i gotta get back awful you eat parking lot sandwiches that's gross <laughs> what happened to me Oh. Okay. oh my god. And use five in one shampoo. <laughs> no, I don't. You you my I don't. you my friend I don't. are on a most wanted list somewhere. I don't. Oh god, you're not I allowed don't. in some countries. <laughs> I don't. The five in one shampoo, that is a bullshit. That, that is that was a one time use I don't know what the fifth thing is. I don't know what else could possibly be in there. Is it mouthwash? I don't know what's in there. Like what the hell makes five? Uh conditioner, shampoo, body, what the hell matter of fact, what is four? Condition, condition, face, face wash. wash. Yeah, face that's is a part just, of my body. No, it's not. face. That's how I know you're gross. That's how I know you're gross. Body wash is the same as face wash. I didn't say that. That's exactly what you said, you nasty bitch. That was a part of the joke in the scheme, dumbass. That wasn't a part of the joke. You hey, meant that. Hey, Cheech and Chong. Hey, dumb Whoa, and dumber. Be careful. Wait, you don't even know. You don't even know what that is. 
<laughs> Isn't that the guy who smokes weed? A lot. A lot of it. <laughs> a lot of it. Anyway. Oh, he's a fan of my brother's podcast. That's that's uh, that's interesting. That's cool. That's a crazy statistic. That's, that's, yeah, that's, that's a crazy statistic. That's a that's a cool milestone. It's a cool accolade. Our carpet reeks, dog. That was frightening how bad that smelled. But no, I don't know what... Okay, fourth is face wash. Obviously, I know they're different. I have a PM and an AM face wash. Don't play me. You know that. I don't know what the fifth is. I don't know what the hell. Is it ear cleaner? What is the fifth? It's definitely like... Toenail shiner? That's what, what you it? clean your tires with. <laughs> yeah, tire it's like go outside. Tire man. disinfectant. No, no. That was a one-time thing. Now, parking lot sandwiches and candy corn and pretzels... I will die That's on that hill. I'll die bro. on that hill. That's disgusting. I am. I am absolutely wet right now. And you shit in the middle of your your feast. I am absolutely <laughs> wet right now. I am. F I am sweating. Oh, bad. You we brought you brought up full Nelsons, right? How you can get out of them? You brought up full Nelson. I said I could get out of yours because it wouldn't pose much of a threat. But, oh, <laughs> sorry. But, but it had me thinking, right? It had me thinking. I think we would be a good tag team against a gorilla. Okay, bro, we need, no, someone needs to diagnose you. What is your obsession with gorillas? Because they're fascinating creatures. And they're so much better than us. I, why? What is your fascination with gorillas? They're fascinating creatures. We have had seven debates about primates and apes. I don't know what, like. They're a fascinating creature. And they would best us easily. See, you don't have any confidence in us as a group and as a relationship. Okay, you're talking about full We're Nelsons. We're in a relationship. From two untrained, or not. Two, uh, uh, a full Nelson from two untrained guys versus a gorilla. No, it's strategy. It's strategy. Yeah. All right, Julius Caesar. It's, all right, Steve Kerr. Break this down for me, Pop. Break this down, Popovich. How would you and me better an ape? How would we beat him? I don't know, because you're the size of the big show, maybe. You got the same jaw. What? <laughs> Look, He's going to beat our no, ass. No, no. Look, say, say we went into an encapture with a gorilla, right? And it was only one gorilla, two of us. One and two, me and you. Us and them. You strategy. I take the legs. You take the legs. Yes. I have a good ground game. Good ground game? Yes. You... No, you don't! Yes, I do. What are you trained in? Let me... Hold, put your feet down. Put your feet down. Down! Move. Now move. Okay, a gorilla will go like this. No! Snap your neck. And... And that's what oh, you... Oh, because I'm, I'm supposed to have the arm. I'm supposed to have the You jump! So what... I jump. On him. I jump on the gorilla. He's like, oh, big skinny man on feet. Yeah. So he's speaking English. Okay. They can. You've seen a monkey do a puzzle before? Read a book. Watch Animal Planet. I bit my tongue. It's so much real estate I'm trying to bite. <laughs> okay. Let's break this down. They can't speak English. You've they can do puzzles. You've never watched Planet of the Zoo? Planet of the Apes? Okay. Planet of the Apes is a... It is a movie. Documentary. It is a... <laughs> Ape. Follow. Kobana. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Uh, don't clip that. Um, we would die. No, we would die. Yes, we would die. We would no, die listen. Okay, think, but think positively, bro. You're think, think positively. You're thinking like a fourth grader. Okay, if one you of grab the legs, I'll get the arms. What are we gonna do? Whisper him to sleep? No, I get the legs. You get the arms. Exactly. What the hell? I, what's after that? You grab the neck. So I let go of the arm. You get his when back. When I let go, when I, oh, I get his back. Yes. Like I'm just gonna get him to the ground, put him in a headlock. Bro, apes are tickled. It's an ape! You got to on tickle you have, you have a best friend ape. You have an ape best friend. What's his name? What's his name? What's his name? Congo? What's his name? No. Let's diagnose Oh, you. really? I don't know Sally McSue that's walking down the street, but I know if I kick her in the knee, it will break. You said that Sally McSue is ticklish. You know nothing about this gorilla. Everybody's ticklish, a dumbass. Everybody, meaning... Humans. Oh, I've seen an ape smoke a cig and take a selfie, dog. And you tell me that they're not ticklish in the pit area. Okay, I've seen a monkey bank a cymbal and tip his top hat. Yeah. That doesn't mean anything. There are, there are acrobatic creatures. They're in a circus act main attraction headlining. You don't know if they're ticklish. Are you ticklish? No. Give me your pit. You're not ticklish? God, there's so much hip. You tightened. I felt you. You need to go to hell. You need to go to hell. You belong there. Oh, my God. Bro, we're not doing shit against an ape. Why? Okay. Let's, let's, let's change the circumstances. I love your confidence. Let's change I do. the circumstances. Do we have guns? No. We have Bow and arrow. One of us has a sword. Compound bow. One of us has a sword. We have a sword. One of us has a sword. Now we're talking. Okay. I take the legs. What now? Bro, you think you're going to take it? its legs? Yeah. Like it's you're acting like you're Brock Lesnar. Have you ever tried to walk in somebody twist your big toe? That shit hurts. Have you ever tried to even take a human's leg, let alone a monkey?
an ape. I'm saying a gorilla. If I can get its you big, you don't even know how to shoot. You've never wrestled. <laughs> You've never wrestled. You don't know mat I work. Ju- you don't know how to. I warm built up a properly. WWE ring when I was a kid. I you built, built a my, w- out of a trampoline. Action figures in your creepy imagination. <laughs> I bet you. I bet. I bet you were the type of guy that took the marker and drew red on him. What? You hit him in the face. Now he's bleeding. You drew on no, your. No, I guys. put ketchup on myself. <laughs> on yourself? I put ketchup right here. And I'm in my mouth sometimes. So you were fighting with the action yeah, figures. Yeah, and I would, you are a freak. I would spit it out when I, I would like have him hit me. I'd go, and like catch a blood. You'd have a seven-inch figurine punch, hit you with the right hook. <laughs> no, you'd spit and put. You would put condiment <laughs> on your forehead. I had a life-size gorilla stuffed animal. I won at Six Flags. I'd fight that guy. His name was Conga. Am I a prophet? I literally said, "What's his name? Congo." Oh, really? And your guy's name was Conga. Yeah. And he was good. He that was a, explains the fascination. He was a world heavyweight champion. You, I bet he was, you little freak. I bet he was, Vince McMahon. You probably gave him the easy matchups, huh? <laughs> We're not beating a gorilla. We, that's a if we deal. both have swords and no, we say... No, just you have a sword. Okay. Actually, I have the sword. Oh, God, no. We've lost. <laughs> We've lost. Oh, God, no. I only trust myself with that. You you with the sword, no. You'd, fuck, you'd cut me somehow. You'd be like, get back! <laughs> and you just <laughs> decapitate me. And then you're just sitting there one-on-one. You go... I think I think you would hold us back as a team. You think cuz you have so much fear. I don't. Fear is good. No it's not. No it's not. You no it go, is not. You would literally go ah! <laughs> like you'd go charge and you'd be running at this gorilla. Ah! <laughs> and he would literally go <laughs> and he would kick you right in the face. You drop the sword and you're like ah, 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 and then he walks up you know, you, goes, <laughs> you know what you would do? You know what you would do? You know what you would do? I'd go. <laughs> you, I'd wait for the right time. No, jab. You, no, jab. You would try. You would. You would, you'd size up the ape, right? You would size him up. You try to make one plant. Your hip is done. Now you're a liability of the team. It's thin. Or when you're on the I, ground. No, shut up. Then when you're on the ground holding your hip in pain because you're not built good. <laughs> You would try to reason with them because you talk too damn much. You would be like, ape, ape, please, please. I have six degrees. Like, that means something. I was six when I got LASIK and I have asthma. Please. Please. You know what he would do, though? Huh. He would look at me, right? He would laugh at me because he's about to kill me, right? Yeah. Then he would take a drink. Ask me what he's drinking. The blood from your skull. He already has your brain in his head. No, he goes, I know he doesn't. <laughs> slurps a little. He gets a little brain matter, right? Looks at me and goes, you see your stupid skinny friend? That's when he starts. So he can't talk. That's when he starts speaking. He can't talk. Okay. That's when he starts speaking. You see your stupid little skinny friend. He tried to shoot on me like I, like this was UFC. Yeah. Like this was j- jujitsu. Yes. Okay. He can't. I'm stronger and better. Here's his head. He, then no. he looks at me, takes the sword, barely cuts himself to give me a small amount of gratitude. Throws the matter of fact, impales me with the sword, snaps my head off. And now we're both dead. You know what they would do? Actually, they would try to get you first. They would try to kill you for parts. Yeah, they, no, they would try to kill me because I'm the alpha and I'm the only they, I'm the only thing that can protect No, us. it's because you're built like a cartoon character. And they would literally... No, I'm built like a cartoon they, character. They would literally take your head off. They would want that big-ass skull and they would use it as a trophy for next Olympics. For the <laughs> next we monkey were, Olympics. If we were in a cartoon, there would literally be a, a dust bubble around you. You'd be walking around, skinny, and your ankles... Every single page would have a little... Little action bubbles by your feet, a dust cloud. Like that guy from uh um uh uh Ch- uh Charles, Charlie. What's his Charlie Brown. Charlie Brown, yeah. the dusty kid, that's you. You know what they would do? They would, they would take your head, right? And they would be like, We're gonna put this on a staff and use this for any visitor to show how cool this guy's head is because it's so damn big. It's like they pumped it up with a basketball thing. <laughs> and then they would be like, Oh, what a chin. And then they would take that. <laughs> And they would use it for like a headstone, you know. They would use it for Thanksgiving to like cut meat, okay. your chin. So and then they would be like, "Oh my God, there's so much marrow in his big ass hip." And they would literally eat you for dessert. And then they'd be like, "Oh my God, that's a toe." And they would put it in the museum of of toe. Okay. So for me, they could get use out of me, is what I'm hearing. For you, they would annihilate you, right? They'd go, "Wow, this thing doesn't have much meat at all on it. It's almost a waste." But it's so long and kind of sharp at the bottom. We could use this as a stick or a shovel. They would use you to shovel our grave. Yeah. They would at least eat off of me, use my skull as a trophy. I would be remembered in the ape community. You would just be a forgotten past. They would use you for parts like their mechanics. They, that's it. You, they don't care you about you. Be, they'd go, "Oh." <laughs> they'd be like, rotten. "Oh, one of us, rotten us. Ape don't kill ape." Oh, 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 no, 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 I didn't mean that, I didn't mean that. Enough ape talk, you're gonna get Enough me. ape talk, enough ape talk. Um, I think it's time for people's favorite, favorite.
favorite segment. segment. You know what that is? Pop culture, pay it in camp. Pop culture, pay it in camp. Wow! I got a pop culture. I got one too. I saw it on Twitter. You can probably already guess what mine is. I don't care. Okay. Um, I saw it on Twitter. Um, and it kind of scared me. Okay. Raymond Noodles. Mm hmm. Apparently, they're making them microwavable now. Oh, like, yeah. And I was like... In the cup ones? Yeah. What the hell were they before? I saw that, too. Yeah. Wait, what? The one, the, the one cups. The, the one that the, one that had the, the little... Styrofoam it's like cup? in the styrofoam cups. Exactly. That's what Everybody's all of done. Earth thought. And they said, we're making, uh, we're making microwavable ramen in the cup now. So I've been eating cancer. <laughs> like, that's we're bad. All, we're all going to die young. It's like, how else... Were you supposed to make it over a fire? How else I think you're supposed it? to take it out and put, put it, it in, in a pot. That defeats... Why are you selling it in the cup? Exactly. It's stupid. No, I, yeah, we're all going to die My soon. favorite thing um, to do with ramen, when I run out of chips, I always have a stack of ramen. You do and, eat it dry. And I, I keep it in the package and I go, break it down, break it down, put it into a bowl, take the seasoning, pour it all the seasoning, shake it up. You're, you're eating chips. It's such a good snack. It's such a good snack. It's, that's just bullshit. Yeah. Okay. The chicken Mine, ramen? I, I, this is the same topic I've had for about maybe 40 pop cultures. Uh, LeBron, Ramon, James. So, LeBron, in the fifth game of the season, stop it, in the fifth game of his 21st season, okay, scored the most points by any NBA player in their 21st season. There's only been six to even make it that far. He had a 35 ball. He's the absolute GOAT, okay? There's no denying it. He's probably the greatest athlete that's ever lived. Uh, like, honest to God, if you think about it. And uh, that's all I really wanted to say. The more this man plays, the more he's just widening the gap, the more y'all get to see. We are truly witnessing history. There's going to be a day where we turn on basketball and he's not playing and it's not going to feel the same. Just know that. Wimben Yamaning, he's a, he's a legend. Victor is, he is leave, living up to the hype. Somebody Bro, Rachel said, Nichols said he has a higher ceiling than Jordan, Shaq, and LeBron. She needs to relax. I don't think that's too crazy. I think that's very crazy. If he's he can seven stay four, healthy. he's going to be he's gonna have a severe injury by year four. Hundred percent. Knock on wood. I don't want him to. I'm yeah. just saying if he doesn't, but that's true. If no, it does, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. He had thirty eight in his second game. That's fine. Third game. Third game. But that's insane, Cam. That is insane. You no, know, he's he's I'm a, not I'm not knocking him. I'm saying he can be, literally do anything on the basketball court. I'm he's saying eight foot tall. If he was six eleven, if he was six eleven, I'd be a lot more I'd be like, holy shit. The fact he's 7'4 is, inc is incredible and amazing. That's what makes him him. But the fact he's 7'4, name anybody 7'3 or over, tell me they haven't got injured. That's true. If, that's all I'm saying. I, I want Did him. Did Yao get injured? Hell yeah, Yao got injured. What the hell? Yes. I don't remember. Yao Ming got injured. Kid. But like that's what I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. I want Victor to be the best he can possibly be. He's not going to be able to play 20 seasons. I saw a tweet go viral, and it was like, if he gets Giannis weight, he's going to be the Wilt Chamberlain that everybody's been lying I to I saw us that, about. too. I saw that, and I was like, We oh. all know Wilt Chamberlain's a lie. That's never happened. Yes, it did. He was a fantastic athlete. He didn't, he didn't score 100 points. It's a fact he didn't score 100 points. Well, that was one that. of the first viral TikToks. That was. He didn't score 100. So they have footage of him doing everything? Except, except that. Except the 100-point <laughs> game? Uh, just because they, there was a con their circus was in town, so they moved venues? Fuck out of here. <laughs> you crazy. And Chuck Taylors? Are you nuts? Bro. Oh, I got to tell you something off camera about the, NBA, the NBA. Not Chuck oh, Taylors. Okay. Converses are cool. They look like clown shoes on me. But Anyway, guys, that was episode 85. We absolutely love y'all. If you made it this far, your code this week for good karma, confusing the casuals, God! and to show us that you are true, true day ones. Code for this week. Leave it everywhere. Instagram posts, Patreon, TikTok. Y'all been slacking on it, too. And here is SAS. Sweet and salty. Sweet and salty, Ooh. baby boy. SAS, we absolutely love y'all. The New York vlog is either out right now or coming out later today. Uh, the extended episode where we really take a deep dive into New York, everything. It'll be me, Pete, and Mama Liv. Uh, that'll be out later in the week. But Patreon, Mama Liv is back. Um, Don't point at me. I'll point at whoever I want. There was something I was going to say. Uh, December 7th, Los Angeles. December 7th, thank you. December 7th, Los Angeles, Regent Theater. Couple tickets left. Couple left. They actually released more. They so released more. They're, but they're loving y'all. They were selling out so still. quick, but they said, holy shit, so here's some more. And those continue to sell too. Link is so, in the description. Here's some more. Yeah, check <laughs> that out. Uh, we're not just saying it to say it. We sold out Dallas. We sold out New York. This one will sell out. If you want to be there, go ahead and swag your ticket. Swag your, swag ticket. your ticket. I almost punched myself. Yeah. Snag your ticket now. We can't wait to see you a couple weeks And away. we can confirm now that that's going to be our only California show. So if you're like in a different part of California yeah. and you're like, maybe they'll come, we're not. 
Yeah, we're not. At least for, for another now. year. For now, yeah. For now till 2024, we won't be in San Diego. We won't be Oakland. None of that stuff. LA is where LA. it's going to happen. Uh, Los Angeles. I feel so at home. All right, guys. Remember, one out of ten koala bears. Don't make it home to Christmas, New York. Thank you so much. What's LA, that? you got a lot to beat. Hello. We will see you next time. Hey, he's in there.